hello guys welcome back to my channel and today I'm back with another video and in this video I'm going to tell you how you can convert your displacement map into your mesh so let's start first of all I'm going to take a plane and keep it with something like 12 by 8 or you can take whatever you want so I'm going to take some subdivisions here but you can keep it one by one because we don't need subdivisions if we are going to apply uh, displacement map so I'm going to open my hypershade and I'm going to take an R node material so you can scroll down here go to R node and you will find the material or you can just standard surface or you can just press tab and type AI standard surface now I'm going to take two another files so I'm going to press tab and file select this one file texture keep this one here and uh, another one file texture keep this one here so double click on this one and in image plane I'm going to take my diffuse or base map and select out color to base color and in this one I'm going to take my height map or displacement map which I made in Photoshop or if you are exporting your texture from substance painter you can find it there in exported textures so what now I'm going to do is I'm going to make my color space of my displacement map to row then I'm going to select alpha is luminance and connect its out color to display placement shader and then I'm going to apply this material to my plane here so as you can see I've applied my material to my plane then I'm going to create some lights for that I'm going to go in Arnold and lights and create a sky dome and go to Arnold render view to check So as you can see you don't have much better results for that you stop your render and select your mesh and go to plane shape and come down in displacement map then go to displacement attributes and subdivision in subdivision select the type to cat clock and equation to 3 and make your height something like 0 0.1 I'm going to do then apply on render again so as you can see we have some results here but it's not good so I'm going to tweak some more parameters here in height try to change its value I'm going to take 0 0.25 and now we have something more here mm. 
subdivision type try everything for better results creation so I'm going to take it 5 something like that and decrease my height value 0 0.1 and now I have some better results as you can see but I think it's a bit much so I'm going to decrease height value a bit less 0 0.07 and equation to 3 4 4 try to adjust your adaptive error if you don't see any results so now I'm going to convert this low polyplane and displacement map into a mesh a high poly mesh so just select your plane and go to Arnold go to utilities and select big selected geometry click OK and it's going to export your mesh so I only display map or mesh export it now go to import and uh, import your high poly mesh so if you don't you mesh this high poly you can just select the equation like 2 or 3 so I have my mesh here I'm going to apply a uh, material and I'm going to apply just a diffuse map and as you can see the results going to create a light sky dome and take a HDRI image I'm going to create a camera go to render setup and I'm going to take the preset of HD 1080 Arnold rendered AA to 4 if you sorry Four, diffuse to three, and gray depth to diffuse to two, specular to two, so open your Arnold render view.
and here we go now we have a low poly plane with diffuse and displacement map and we have our high poly mesh which we converted from displacement map and diffuse map